Hallelujah. Supreme Court finally reveals the real candidates that rigged the election and how the beavers was manipulated in his favor. Chief Justice reports. In fact, I knew it that the election results, I knew it that it was manipulated. I knew it that it was manipulated. And also, for my understanding, Einek knows about uh, about this. All these they are putting up to me, they are all cover up because one, they don't want to be exposed, they want to go to jail, you know. And what was given to them, probably they have dipped hand inside and cannot be able to refund. So that is what is killing them at presence and making them to go on with the many lies but what is happening today what is happening today no it's morning let's check the content my dear listeners this is morning news the presidential candidate of the labor party mr peter obi had challenged the victory of the president elect Bola Ahmed Tunubu at the tribunal. Peter Wee had claimed in his petition that there was a case of overvoting in certain areas for the respondent Bola Tunubu and that the court should declare him the winner of the election. A former INEC director of voters' education, lawyer Oluwole Osaze, Uzi has alleged that to determine overvoting from EC8A or other data cannot be used in court. He, he marked that in the presidential election tribunal cases in court, the petitioner will have to prove in court that there was overvoting with total reliance on the beavers. He alleged that the Supreme Court has now made it clear with the Osho State election that the Lega Court will not be looking at expert data analysis to ascertain overvoting according to him. A petitioner might have a fantastic case, but it has to take a procedural method laid down by the law in the Electoral Act. He said in the case of Osho State, there was the reliance on certain exhibits of certified true copies of the download from the IREV. But the judgment at the Supreme Court said, let us look at the beaver's machine. Having looked at it, the beaver's machine accredits people. So automatically, it stores the number of people it has accredited. To prove overvoting now, the Supreme Court says it is the beavers that determines overvoting and not the form EC8A. And there is, this is what will be applied at the presidential election tribunal. Hmm. You see? So, with this, you will tell me that the INEC are not aware. That's a very big lie. A very big, in fact, they know how to operate and manipulate the beavers. And that is what they have done. Do you understand? That is what they have done. It gives me a lot of worries, a lot of concern that all this are happening and we are just watching which is not right in any way at all. But be that as it may, I will say enough is enough. The, the corruption in Nigeria has 
got into the climax. At least someone should, for once, do something right. And let's see where this will take us to. That is if the person can be able to do so. You understand? And that is just it. So, my people, my people, and I don't hear the story as they go. Um, in fact, the results was manipulated. It was manipulated. So, no wahala. Let's quickly hear from you and let's know what your own thoughts and opinion on what has just been confirmed right now this very morning. <laughs> Uh, don't forget to leave them below the comment section. Click on the subscription buttons as well as the bell buttons to get updated each time we upload any new videos. Thank you.